Guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this terrific Thursday week. It's almost over. Oh, yes. But anyway, if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and light to you. If you are a returning sub, much love and support to you also on both sides. And thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button on that side. So you can be able to see the next upload on my video. Today I'm listening to my dad's song, Orion, Arm of Orion. And I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's, it's like overbearing my, my voice. So I don't feel like yelling. But anyways, uh, I really do love that song. You know, I had to look it up, you know, because I was listening to it and it was very beautiful. And I was just like, wow. You know, and I always like the things about the, you know, astronomy and stuff like that. The stars and stuff like that like how when you get close up to them what do they really look like I always used to have weird questions like that but when I looked up Orion's belt is close to the Taurus constellation so it was just really 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 crazy so but anyways I hope everybody's doing good on this terrific Thursday my video today is about twin flame 101 regroup and stay on your path. That's why I made no videos in a few days. I know y'all like, usually she make a video like every day or every other day. At least give her two days. But it's like I've been really going through some stuff and trying to, you know, I'm on my grind. I'm, you know, I, I got some stuff I got to do. So I had to regroup and I had to stay off the of social media for a minute. You know, and it's just a lot of things that's going on. And I just got a good blessing yesterday. And it, it, it's just like... And I notice when I get closer to my blessings and stuff like that, it's just crazy because when you know you're getting close to something, there's always going to be that, that speed bump that's trying to get you to where you are, you know, just like, can I actually, can you not spoil the good thing for me? You ain't got to do all that or whatever. But it's just like right now, like, like I said, I'm listening to Arms of Orion. I really love that song. It's very beautiful. And it's just like I keep hearing my dad saying, baby, do not give up. Your blessings are here. And you hear me all the time keep saying my blessings are here. I'm just like, but where they at that? Well, I'm, I sound like T.I., T. Where, where they at though? <laughs> you know, I feel really felt that way. But it's just like if you need to, when you're going through things and you are just so tired and you're crying and stuff like that, you know, your heart and your soul get tired, especially when you know you're fighting for it, especially when you know somebody doing you wrong. You know, like, the, I feel bad for these parents that, you know, they're losing their kids and, you know, gun violence and stuff like that, trying to get justice for things that they know something ain't right. What they're telling them, something is not right. And, you know, and it's just like, yeah, I got these speed bumps, people trying to stop stuff going on and people, you know, trying to give on extra stuff just to, you know, just to mess, just to mess up my face. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, you know, I, I feel a little weary right now, but I told God, I prayed God and asked him to forgive me for being weary like that, because it's just like so many good signs are happening right now, but I'm so focused on the, on the negative that you don't see all the beautiful things that are happening for you. It's just like, even though you're going through a bad situation, like I was talking about the other day on the universal spiritual law of cause and effect. You know, even though you have a bad situation, you have to look at something that's good coming out of it. Like if you have a bad breakup and you know you don't lost a friend or you don't basically like a boyfriend, you're like, oh my God, you know, I've been with this person for such and such time and this and this and this and that. And you're just like, God, why did you do this to me? And it can be a complete blessing to you. You never know. This man might be a psycho killer. He probably, God only knows what the heck he even probably did. But it will be a blessing in disguise for you. You got to look at it as that. Yeah, you might be alone at this time. But look, that gives you enough time to figure out what you need to do. What do you need to better yourself on? Especially if this is like, uh, especially if it's like, you know, um, sorry, my music, I was trying to start my music back over, but it, it's just like when you're going through that. stuff like that, I think we're and, it's like these daggone ads, I'm sorry, y'all, but it's just like when we go through things, we're gonna go through things, everybody goes, they, they, everybody has, 
their journey they're going through is just we're, we're all dealing with different devils here and it, it just seems like when I when you get closer to your things it's like those speed bumps keep coming up and you're just like you know what I can't deal with it <laughs> so that's the reason why I have not been making videos for the last couple of days because I've been, number one I've been busy trying to get what I need to get to get back home and then plus you know just trying to regroup myself because it's just like it's just sucking me out emotionally mentally and physically and it's just like things are coming at me all at different times so I had to just regroup myself meditate do what I need to do listen to music dance you know just do what I need to do and it was just like, especially, you know, trying to get over the fact of, you know, what the family has done and, you know, the things that they're keeping, you know, for me to get home. You, you have paperwork. We always, you know, you've got that paperwork that you know that has been being looking for that, you know, that could get me home. Proof that you can get me home. But it's just like everybody keeps saying, you know, this is just so crazy. This, this is just so crazy. And I said, have you ever heard of anybody who's adopted unless their family is either like a serial killer, a pedophile, as they say over in the UK, UK uh, a mass murderer or something like that? I can understand you keeping them away from their, their parents. I understand that. But when it comes to a, a person like my dad, you know, my dad, is, I'm a very headstrong, very intelligent person will give you the shirt off of his back and don't even have to, you know, say, hey, you know, I did this, you know, and I love that about him. So that's why I was just like, I looked at my parents when I used to ask them, I'd say, yeah, you know, you know, Prince done came out with this song and everything. And this is before I really knew what, you know, after they don't sit up here and mess with my mind and all that stuff for me, remember, you know, trying not to, you know, for them trying not to have me remember, you know, um, they were like, oh, we're not too much. Prince fans, and I was just like, that's the first time I've ever heard somebody say that <laughs> to me before, so, you know, it, it's just like a lot of memories that are coming up, and things that, you know, I'm basically, it is just like a flashback of my life, and it's like, look how far you have came, look at all the stuff that you have come through, and now you're on YouTube, basically telling your life story, and trying to help people heal, is you're healing yourself. So when you have those days that you feel like you're stuck, you want to give up, just relax, relate, release, okay? Take a day or two off. Listen to some music. Do something that makes you happy. You know, nature walk, drawing. Uh, me, I love listening to music, dancing, meditating. Uh, you know, I've really been trying to get into my book, but my book is it, just like, I'm, I'm just like, ugh, kind of skittish about it right now. Because it's almost done. It's towards the end. I'm just trying not to, you know, just relive going through, going through the whole thing of basically living my life all over again. I'm trying to get to that part where I'm actually with my family so I can say, oh, okay, yes, I can do the ending of the book. So it, it's just like, all the stuff that I'm going through, all the things that I'm learning about myself, and and it was just like when I was hearing Orion's belt, and it's just like, you know, he wants to be near Orion's belt, he wants to be near the constellation, the Taurus constellation, and I'm just like, wow, you know, my dad really loves me, my dad really loves me, because I, like I said, there, it was times that it was just like, my family had put me through so much stuff that they had me brainwashed that I was unlovable, nobody could never love me. There was something wrong with me. So it, it, it's just like, now I'm just like looking at them. Well, not, I mean, not actually looking at them because I couldn't be nowhere near them right about now. But I'm just like, just thinking about them. And I'm just like, you know what? I am lovable. I am, you know, I'm like, you know, some people don't like me because I have told the truth. They didn't like me being honest. I've never been the yes girl you know, agreeing with everything that you, you know, because if I don't agree on it, I'm like, please don't ask me something. You might not like the answer you get, because I'm not going to set up, if you're wrong, you're wrong, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm, I'm going to admit I'm wrong. But it's just like, when you're regroup, regroup, do what you need to do, but stay on that path. Don't, don't, don't let anybody, including yourself, distract you from what you need to do. It is going to be hard, I'm telling you, because with the stuff that I'm going through, I've been going through for the last couple of days, 
I keep on telling myself, you know, when this ends, I already know it's about to be the bomb.com when all this finishes because all the hell I'm going through right now is giving me a constant headache. I already know good things are going to come out of this. And I keep hearing that. You know, I had a big blessing yesterday and I was so excited about it. And I was just like, you know what? I'm getting it. You know, it's not, I'm not exactly right there, but you know what? It's not that far away. And usually when you're about to give up, that it, you, it can be right around the corner. Like my dad say on, on, on Graffiti Bridge, it's right around the corner. So when you feel that way, when you feel stuck, when you feel stagnant, basically stuck, stagnant, the same thing. But when you feel like you're you're stuck in those four walls, you 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 regroup. You you turn another idea like, okay, well, it didn't work that way. Okay, what kind of way can I go about it a different way to see how far I can get with this time? You know, when you're going through stuff and you got a journey and you got a goal and you got a dream, don't let nobody sit up here and downplay your dream. Because especially if they already see, they can't, like I told you in your videos before, if they can't see it for themselves, they damn sure cannot see it for them, for you. So it's just like, I'm ready, they know, it's just like I tell God, I'm ready to be back with my family. I want to be around people that are more like me, you know, uh, you know, feel love because it's just like the family life that I had. I know my mom loved me to death, even though my dad turned me against my mom. And it took a long time for me to do that. And I had to cry and tell my mom, I'm sorry, because it was just the things I never, there was things that I'm just now hearing about my family. And I'm just like, are you serious? Why am I just not hearing about this now? And it, it's just like, it is one thing after another, but it's just only strengthening you. And all of this is preparing me for what this, this is nothing compared to what, when everything is over, <laughs> is about to be some mess. But at least I know I have my family there to be able to be with me because it's just like I tell my friends, I don't get closure. You know, I have not been able to really grieve because I, you know, I want to be able to go to Paisley Park and, and just feel my dad's spirit. Because a lot of people say when you go in there, you, you can really feel him. And I feel him all the way, you know, I feel him all the time now, but it's just like, I'm so ready to to find my, you know, finding God, because when I find God, that's when I find my way back home, that's what my dad had that song about, way back home, so I'm not trying to keep you guys up, but I'm telling you, keep on your path, if you have to regroup, rest, and relax, because between these eclipses and all these other different crazy things, and many blessings to the people in Las Vegas, and rest in peace, Tom Petty, you know, I don't know why, but it made me think about that, uh, performance that him and my dad and his other the other groups did of uh my my guitar gently weeps now it's just like i i'm picturing my dad right him and him and him and uh tom are playing those those guitars right now and just jamming it up and it's just like i already see there's a big party up there and i'm like man i ain't ready to die but i would love to see that performance right about now because we got all the good people that's up there in the sky but um, like I said, I'm gonna keep on going, but I will talk to you guys in a couple of days and keep me in your prayers. And as I always keep you guys in my prayers, much love and light to you. And I will talk to you later. Please like, and subscribe, hit that notification button, even drop me a comment and I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.